Oh, I think it's Michael. Yours. Yours. Your turn. Um, well, having having been a solar power user for over 15 years myself, um, very proud of already being a big supporter of, of alternative and clean energy uh, uses. Um, the Liberal platform includes a 13,500 uh, eco renovation tax credit. That's a great support, not only for people who will have the opportunity to, to use the renovations for their house to reduce their energy bills, but it will also be a significant stimulation, stimulant to all of the enterprises, the businesses that engage in that kind of building uh, energy efficient, efficient renovation. So on the one hand, Thirteen and a half thousand dollars for a family to renovate, to help them renovate their homes, to make them energy efficient, which will save them money, but also stimulate the the, the green the green technologies and the green uh, enterprises, which we want to support. Um, I, I will express some concern. The, the the conservative, the Harper platform includes um, an eco an eco retrofit piece, but. This was exactly the program that the Harper government cancelled several years ago and so I question why at this late game, one, it's back in there if there was a, a, a it was cancelled earlier and two, how credible it is that given that the Harper government had cancelled it, how credible is it that we'll ever see it again? Um, and, I, and I will just repeat, $13,500 is a significant amount but it will help families save money on energy bills and stimulate green technologies and green businesses. Tony, you um, thank you for the question. You addressed something that I am quite knowledgeable about. Uh, I serve as the board of director on the Toronto Regional Conservation Authority. Uh, I have, for my own house, uh, a super R2000 home that I built. Uh, it won five national awards in the year that it was built. Uh, it uses um, total solar uh, energy hot water heating. Uh, it, had, uh, it has uh, uh, super low uh, E emissibility windows uh, and it is the entire house uh, can't be recycled uh, when they decide to tear down some 30, 40, 50 years later. So it is a to totally recyclable house and you, you, it is a topic that I'm very knowledgeable about. Matter of fact, in my business, uh, when I um, build disaster relief houses around the world, this is what I do. They are all energy efficient homes. Now, with respect to in, in Canada, how we will address this issue, yes, the Conservative government strategy is to put back this eco um, energy re um, retrofit. I think uh, on top of that, we are also going to be looking at a broader uh, uh, re examination of the um, <coughs> of the R2000 program of uh, energy efficient homes but certainly as was mentioned the 13,000 uh, tax credit uh, will st both help lower the energy use and stimulate the green energy home and renovation industry so these are uh, it's, a, it's one strategy that is a double-edged sword that can do two things thank you so much Next. Um, well, I, I think it's wonderful that we have two candidates in Willowdale, both of whom are supportive of, of, uh, of the environment and, and uh, using alternative energies, and I think that's, uh, that's, that's, a, that's a good thing for Willowdale. And, and, on, and it is a good thing for Willowdale, that, uh, I, and I think on top of that, i also like to bring to the table uh, that I also spent 10 years in the uh, mass transit building industry. I am a strong supporter of mass transit systems. I have helped build or help do the feasibility design for our transit systems in Beijing, Shanghai, Tokyo, Hong Kong, Taipei, and Kuala Lumpur. The, the, the problem is that we need much more but mass transit here in Toronto. Need it in yeah. <laughs> we, we definitely uh, we need, uh, and, I, and again, before this is my third election um, to be re elected as the Member of Parliament for Willowdale, and before the first time, I was advocating two, one, foreign credentials that we talked about earlier, but also significant increases in infrastructure spending for mass transit, for public transit, um, particularly Willowdale, we know, because we have the Finch subway station, and everybody comes to park so that they can get on the, the Finch uh, subway station, but, um, but all across the GTA. Yeah, related to energy policy, you know, given what happened in Japan, <coughs> what, uh, what do you both think about the en uh, nuclear energy, you know, uh, you know, for Canada. Well, well, first, our hearts go out to everybody in Japan. It's it's a bit frustrating because the news we had so much news at the beginning, 
but there are still thousands, hundreds of thousands of people homeless still in Japan, people still dealing with the nuclear challenges. And, um, and so I just want to say our hearts go out to those who continue to, to suffer and, and to have to deal with this. Um, I am a supporter of nuclear energy. Um, you, you, one has to balance uh, greenhouse gas emissions, which cause significant challenges in our environment. Nuclear energy in that regard is, 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 is regarded as clean in that sense. But as we see, it comes with significant challenges. Um, over time, nuclear technology has improved dramatically in terms of safety. We hope that this will encourage even greater safety levels. Um, but it is something that we, that we have to look at. At the same time, conservation, making homes more energy efficient will reduce use of, of energy. We need absolutely to focus on alternative energy sources as well. So wind and solar, um, hydro, uh, hydro in, in the larger sense, Canada is a, a, a tremendous, has tremendous expertise uh, in hydro. Tony, let me, let me say, I, like Martha, I also extend my sympathy to um, the Japanese people. Uh, Japan is very dear to me. I spent four years of my high school mm -hmm. there and I also built uh, one of their Tokyo Line 12 subway systems. So I understand mm -hmm. the intricacies uh, and difficulties of building in an earthquake zone. Uh, matter of fact, I still have uh, classmates and friends that are in Japan. Um, as we speak, uh, my uh, factory uh, is designing uh, disaster relief homes to service the, uh, the Tohoku, the north uh, mm. east area of uh, Japan, and, and we're now looking at some of the um, ways that we can build these homes to meet uh, the next level of um, uh, earthquake dis disasters. Um, I, I must, uh, in this case, agree again with my uh, liberal uh, counterpart here that I, I'm also a supporter of um, nuclear energy. It is a clean form energy. It is a safe form energy. If you look over the long run, um, and it is certainly a, uh, a very cost effective way of uh, supplying our uh, electrical power. Uh, we need to tighten some of our um, regulations and rules around uh, nuclear energy. The, energy. the nuclear reactor that was built in, um, in Japan was a 40-year uh, design mm -hmm. built by General Electric. The Canadian uh, heavy water and there are now breeder reactor, uh, nuclear reactors that are much safer than uh, those of, uh, of the previous generation. And, and, but in parallel with this, again, I um, concur with my liberal uh, counterpart that we need to investigate tidal power, wind turbine, and uh, f uh, solar photovoltaic. These are the alternative form of energy that we need to address. And these, uh, Canada need to put a lot more innovation into this because we have the, uh, the right conditions in North America to do this. Um, and, and this is something that I think the uh, conservative governments will mm -hmm. strongly support. Well, I would, I would take <coughs> exception to whether the Conservative government strongly supports it. You and I might agree, but your government has a terrible record on in the environment. But I will, I will say that I am very excited about the 13,500 uh, tax credit for eco retrofits. One, because it, it, and, and this is so critically important, it encourages energy savings which is better for the environment, encourages lower energy bills for the families, but also encourages the green technologies and the businesses that will be involved in, in doing the renovations. It's, uh, it's something I'm very proud as a Liberal to have in the platform. Thank you. Thank you.